morning from St. Martin, everyone. Today we are rocking yet again another Amazon swimsuit. It's the exact same one as I wore yesterday, um, but in a different color. And then these shorts are actually from Walmart. I got them last summer. They were like three bucks. And uh, yeah, they're great for excursions. So you don't have to worry about messing up your clothes, but we're going on a, it's called a rhino, rhino ride of some sort. <laughs> Basically on this excursion, they let you ride your own mini inflatable boat sort of thing, and then you ride it to a destination where you can get off and snorkel. So we're excited to do that today. Here's the view of our balcony this morning. It looks so pretty. It's such a nice day. Oh, I'm so excited to be out in the water. I do not F with the sun anymore. <laughs> we went to Costa Rica a year and a half ago. Year and a half ago, and I got sun poisoning, uh, face swole up, it was horrible. Um, so now I just use self tanner, and you know what? It kind of looks a little funky whenever it fades out, but it's better than damaging your skin and getting crazy burns. So we do not mess with the sun anymore. <laughs> Trevor's got on the St. Martin special. Yeah, it's the sunburn protection special. That's right. I got torched on my arms, so I uh, figured that the uh, special effects of the tie-dye would help. <laughs> Man, that is, that is totally worth 30 bucks right there. Yeah, $30. This is Trevor's first time at a naked beach, huh? Yep. Yep. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, uh, Surprised? Surprised. Also, uh, wishing there was a little bit more 20 year olds, a little <laughs> less 50 or 60 year olds. <laughs> anyway, we're having a really nice and relaxing time. St. Martin is beautiful. The little boat ride that we're doing is really nice because you get a tour of the whole island pretty much and you can kind of see um, the big features of the island and get a view of the water, but you don't have to uh, drive around. You don't have to what? Yeah, you don't have to wait in traffic. So I, I recommend it. Um, yeah, it's been a fun excursion so far. 
Well, we had such a fun day in St. Martin. I actually kind of got a sunburn on the top of my scalp though, so tomorrow I will definitely be putting sunscreen um, right up here. But we're really excited because we're gonna go try another specialty restaurant. We're gonna go try Wonderland, and we're not sure if the food's actually gonna be good or not, <laughs> but the presentation's supposed to be really spectacular, so hopefully it's tasty. If not, I guess we'll go get pizza or something like that afterwards. So after we came back from our excursion, we took a long nap, and so we were ready to party the night away. This dress is actually from, I want to say Marshalls. I got it a couple years ago. It's cute, off the shoulder, short dress, nice and breezy. I have also my clutch that I've been wearing all week. I really love this. Um, again, it's from Lulu's. I've got some really fun, um, you can't really tell, but they're actually pink, like a light, light pink colored uh, fringe earrings that I got from Francesca's. This necklace is from um, Ever Eve. All right, Trev, show me your outfit. All right, so here, this is my very first vacation slash dad shirt ever. We got it a few years ago, but it's just my favorite, so I'm wearing it. Yes, it's Caribbean slash casual night, so it's perfect. Yep. It's actually then, from Pac Sun. But then, you want to show the shot glass yes, we got today? Yes. So here is our shot glass that we got today. See, so I'll put it here so it's in focus. But. <laughs> <laughs> so, but but here's the shot glass from St. Martin, and it, uh, it looks nice. Yes, yes. The shot glass selection in the Caribbean has been a little bit sparser than the one in Mexico, for yeah. sure. The uh, this St. This Martin port that we were at was pretty much only jewelry. Like, yeah. I, I had a hard time finding a t-shirt. Yeah, that's right. That, your sexy t-shirt that you wore today. Yes. The $30 oh, t-shirt. Yeah, you want to you see my sexy t-shirt? Yes, Well, we it's do. inside out, but you get the idea. Yes, they saw it earlier today, but it was, man. Did it save you your sunburn, though? You're looking yes. pretty nice and tan yeah, now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm still red but you know the aloe and that t-shirt did its job kept me from getting good, sunburned on good. top good well babe next question what'd you think of the nude beach uh it, it was an eye opener I, it made me realize it's a little bit less of a big deal than i thought it was that's you know, right i'm a very conservative missouri boy so i had <laughs> this whole taboo thing wrapped around it and i was like well it's just a bunch of old fat naked people <laughs> so, so that's that's that but we had a fun day today, and so now we're getting ready to go eat dinner at Wonderland. If Trevor were going to have it another way, he would go to the Bocce Grill twice, but he knows how interested yeah. I've been in trying Wonderland. <laughs> Look pretty cool. Look at this. That's even for sitting? Why? One person? LOL. <laughs> That's good. Cool. Thanks. chopped up in that line. <laughs> and those little crispy things are Parmesan cheese. That looks yummy. So this is some kind of fish with a crusty, I think it's almost like a done bread topping. It has rice as well. And this is actually beef. Um, I think it's ribs. And these are actually potatoes. These are the potatoes right here. So we're excited to dig in and try these. Oh, here we go. Looks awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you wow. so much. So you place the rice 
crispy so on the top and okay. go from the top to the bottom and okay. enjoy all the ingredients and flavors again. Sounds perfect. Yes. On the other side, forbidden apple. Shape of an apple, but it's a raspberry mousse with nice and shiny glaze of strawberry jelly from the outside. Alright y'all, so we're doing a quick recap of Wonderland, and I will start off by saying that I was a skeptic. Big skeptic. I'm like, this is going to be dumb, we're going to have to go get pizza afterwards, <laughs> this is just going to be a bunch of fancy one bite food. And I will say, there were some dishes that were like literally one bite, but they were still really good. So, overall impressions is that I'm actually like super, super happy. Skepticism, you know, destroyed. Yeah, we're sure. both we're both really full. So if you want to go experience Wonderland, it's definitely like it's like a show as yeah. you're eating. Yeah, it's about the presentation 100%. And it ain't cheap, but it's <laughs> really good and, you know, I'm a big guy or not a big guy, but I walked away full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we both we both are really full. So if you're on the fence and you think you want to try Wonderland, I say definitely give it a go because I think that a lot of people are probably on the fence about it. Yeah. Um, I will say, though, I think that if we had to choose between the hibachi and the Wonderland, I think we would have gone with the hibachi, though, just because, I don't know. Uh, wait, what do you think? Oh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't actually say that. I think that they're kind of even. And the hibachi grill is the best hibachi grill I've ever had. Uh, best hibachi grill we've ever, ever been to. They were both very, very good restaurants. And one thing that's interesting is we before thought that all the specialty restaurants were kind of like a gimmick. Blow, blow and smoke up your butt basically we thought you know it's like okay the dining food's great like why would we go spend extra money at a you know at one of the restaurants but i think it's totally worth it so i think next time if we come on a cruise uh just us two alone we'll definitely get the specialty dining package um i know like with a big group that could kind of get a little ridiculous so i wouldn't do it with a huge group but yeah, just but us two worth I it i think it's definitely worth it so two thumbs up for the specialty dining for us Yep, Wonderland's passed my test. Yes. <laughs> Where are we going, baby? We are going to the bar, and then we're going to go to this dance place called Dazzle to see that's, a Stevie Wonder tribute. That's band. right. Trevor, Stevie's the man. Trevor has been really pleasantly surprised with all the music on board, which is something that's really awesome because he is stuck in the dark ages, aren't you? Yep. I'm not a music snob because no music teacher can be a music snob. That's against <laughs> the rules. But I do say that... You know, older stuff is usually better in my opinion. Yes, that's right. In case you guys don't know, Trevor is a musician. He plays, geez, all sorts of all sorts of stuff. And he actually teaches at the School of Rock, so um, he's very right. particular. Next generation. 